Hi, my name is Kathy Patterson Sterling and I'm the Director of Family Services for the Sunshine Coast Health Center with your question of the week. I've been receiving a lot of questions lately about walking that fine line between emotionally supporting and also looking at where can parents of people with addictions or even spouses of people with addictions and those people are now moving into recovery where exactly is that fine line between helping and really trying to manage, being an expert manager of somebody else's life. So what I've decided is to do a three-part series answering the question of exactly what is healthy emotional detachment. Healthy emotional detachment for partners, healthy emotional detachment for families as well. So when I'm working in family program, often adult parents of adult children will say to me, you know, my loved one is leaving from treatment and they have no money and ha in need a fresh start. How much do we finance? And then with those finances, how much money uh, do we provide? And where is our say in what they can and cannot do? So to answer that question, it's important to look at a contract. I'm always in favor of contracts and objectivity, almost like a tenancy agreement. And the tone of it is about coming to the table as adults on both sides so that the person that we love and care about, which in this case may be your son, has the ability to grow into their adulthood rather than staying in the stuck holding pattern of being a child being told what to do. Thanks and we'll do part two next week. Take care.